Hey friends, here we are in another week of this pandemic. And for many of us, our normal has been changed. Uh, some of us are working from home. Maybe your kids are home from school. Uh, maybe you're laid off from work or have time away from work. Uh, for many of us, normal has been redefined in this season. And it's for that reason that uh, I have a desire to just launch a fresh focus for our church community um, in growing in our faith with God in a fresh way in this season where you know many of our rhythms have been changed or taken from us and we have the opportunity to invest and focus on on these these things that are eternal and cultivate and grow in our hearts a uh, deeper love for Jesus I came across this passage in Jeremiah 17 I've been reading the prophet Jeremiah the last couple weeks because I feel like it's so relevant to this season uh, of difficulty but I came to Jeremiah 17 and this is what the prophet Jeremiah says he says Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when he come. For its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. So that is God's will for our, for our lives. That is the blessed life, is this life that doesn't cease to bear fruit. That when the heat comes, it does not wither when uh, drought and famine comes, that it doesn't uh, cease and bearing fruit, even in those seasons. Why? Because its source has already been figured out, already has a source of life, has a source of water planted next to that, that river of living water. And in th those, those word pictures that the prophet Jeremiah um, used in that passage just seem to leap off the page in this season of difficulty for us as a people, for us as a church community. And no matter where you are in your faith with Jesus, if you've been walking with him for years, or whether you uh, are fresh in your faith, I believe we can all benefit and we can all grow deeper. And it's for that reason I wanna focus us over the next several weeks to grow in our relationship with Jesus. And I wanna do that in practical ways. I wanna do that by equipping our church with some really uh, specific instruction in this season. It's actually something I, I normally don't get to do. Um, and so I wanted to send out uh, specific, uh, practical encouragement and ways to grow in your faith in Jesus, uh, ways to study the Bible, instruction on how to pray when you don't know what to pray, uh, instruction on you know how to um, overcome worry and anxiety and fear. Um, I want to I want to answer other questions that I think many people have in regards to you know why should a follower of Jesus ever fast or how do I discern the will of God for my life or uh, what does it mean to pray in the spirit uh, many of these elements of walking with Jesus that we talk about a lot around here I, I don't always get the opportunity to give practical instruction on so over the next several weeks I'm going to be uh, putting out these episodes of growing deeper to help our church grow in the things of Jesus to grow in their faith to equip you to go and invest in your relationship with the Lord and to be uh, more mature in your faith, in your walk with Jesus on the other side of this pandemic. And whenever we do we get to go back to life, at least uh, in some form or fashion to the way it was, uh, I want us to be better uh, as a result of walking through this, uh, this season of testing and this season of, of difficulty. So you can go ahead and jump into the first episode. The first episode is uh, the first part of two on how to study the Bible. Just some practical tips, uh, practical encouragement on how to study the Bible for yourself. I pray that it's, it's helpful for you as you grow in the word in this season. So uh, thanks for tuning in and God bless.